Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday, hope you've all had a great week. Whoa, what is this? I'm posting a video on a Friday? Yeah, I thought you only post on Tuesdays. Yeah, well, uh, consider this week an exception. Everybody likes some bonus content, right? Yeah. Usually on Friday nights, I host live Q&A sessions on YouTube, but since those are live, you know, a lot of people miss those. I figured I would answer some more frequently asked questions from the rest of you Bahis out there. So I went onto all my social medias and I told you guys to ask me some questions about anything you want. And I'm gonna go through a bunch of them here from each platform and, uh, you know, and thank you very much to everyone who submitted questions for this video, because, you know, if it wasn't for you guys, I would not have this bonus content for you today, now would I? Before we dive into the questions, this video is sponsored, and it's a brand new sponsorship. I just started working with this company, and I am extremely excited to tell you guys about Gamer Bread. Introducing Gamer Bread, the world's first high-performance bread made for gamers. It's got an ambidextrous grip, strengthened fingers, and improved dexterity. And when you're done, fuel up with maximum caloric density for maximum focus. Dual functionality flash cools your rig. Get it now at GamerBreadNow.com. <laughs> GamerBread? <laughs> you guys know me better than that by now. This video is actually sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> If you're new around here and you haven't caught any of my live gaming streams yet, Raid is a super fun RPG that I've been playing like every single day since last August. There's so many characters to collect and customize, then you can level them up, take them into battle. If you're a fan of RPGs, get your butt in here. It's great! You can play for free on your mobile device or PC. We've got campaign battles, we have dungeon battles, you can team up with your friends and kill the clan boss. They also recently extended the daily login bonuses to 180 days, so every single day you can get a nice free reward, and at the end, you get a free legend legendary champion, Sill of the Drakes. You can download the game for free using one of the links in my description, and if you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver and a free champion, Hexweaver. She is a great champion, especially when you're just starting out, and she pairs very nicely with Kyle here, who you can also get right at the start of the game. These rewards will be waiting for you right up here in the inbox, and they will be available for the next 30 days. You can find me in Raid under the name 66Samus, and if you'd like to join one of my clans, hop into my Discord server to get the info. And as always, my friends, good luck, Happy gaming, and I'll see you in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you like that? You just got raid rolled. Did we get ya? In all seriousness though, the guys over at Raid are awesome dudes and they are well aware of the meme that they've become for all the advertising they've done over the last year. So, you know, might as well have some fun with it, right? Yeah. All right, onto the questions and uh, let's start with Twitter. Serpentius asks, how are you liking the new active pedals versus the old ones? I like them a lot. Both the A's and the lasers definitely have their pros and cons. That 21 degree angle on those laser pedals is so nice for double strokes and heel toe. I can go so much faster with doubles now. But that being said, I still play single strokes a lot better on the A's. So neither pedal is actually better than the other. You know, they just have their different uses and applications. So I'm really stoked that I have both of them. But the next set of drum videos I film will probably be with the lasers. Pepperqueef asks, when is Al coming to visit you? We want Al. Oh, yeah. Well, Pepperqueef, Al was actually supposed to, uh, not even joking, this very week, Al was supposed to be here. But due to all this, you know, crap going on right now, he had to cancel his flight. I'm not sure when we're gonna get him to come up here at this point, but it just really sucks. Everything was planned and then uh, we got pooped on. Cletus wants to know, what am I currently trying to learn on drums? Could be a song, technique, or whatever. Uh, maybe some Gojira? Dragon God says, I'm still the first to get Lingape in... <laughs> That's fucking Adrian, dude. Yep, there it is. He got Lingape tattooed on his arm. It's pretty good. <laughs> You're the man, Adrian. Bearded Warrior Mark says, Sam, if they're frequently asked questions, shouldn't you know them already? Shit. Why am I so bachy? Vortex Afternoon asks, when on stage, do you fart while playing? Oh yeah. I gotta fart right now, actually. Oh, I pooped my pants. Mr. Phantom asks, what's your current favorite band? Probably nobody knew. I just, I always go back and forth between Metallica and Slayer and those Demu Borgir records that had Nicholas Barker drumming on them. Oh my God. All right, let's jump over to YouTube. Powerful Warbird asks, who is the greatest progressive metal drummer and why is it Sebastian Lancer? Well, you know, cause he's good. Gabriel Bettin says, I'm new to the channel. What Lingape means and who's Al? If I tell you what Lingate means, I will get banned from YouTube forever, and, uh, who's Al? 
He's my pal. Jason Landis asks, why do you think people are always hating on Lars? I don't know, Jason. It, it could just be a trend. Maybe people think it's cool to hate on Lars. I don't know, but all I can say is, if you hate Lars, I hate you. And what are your influences for drumming? Well, there you have it. Lars is one of them. Mike Portnoy is one of them. Nicholas Barker, for sure. A sex. Nate on Fire asks, when did you start drumming and when did you start double kick? I sort of answered this in one of my older FAQ videos, but I started drumming when I was... And I believe I was around 14, 15 years old when I started doing double kick. John Plex wants to know, Samus, what do you think about Jay's drumming on We Are Not Your Cav? Honestly, I've still only heard a couple of songs or whatever ones that you guys have requested on my live streams, but I like his drumming. He's really good. Obviously, like most people, I, you know, prefer Joey's drumming in Slipknot, but Jay holds his own. He, he's great. Tigmon asks, what is your favorite word? Mm, Knives asks, do you have interest in anything other than drums? Anything you collect? No, not really. I'm fucking boring. All I do is play drums. No, I'm just kidding. I like to watch movies too and hang out with my wife and play a lot of video games. And I like to eat food because I'm a big fat bonk. But I don't really collect anything. I don't think I collect anything. I don't really have any collections. Like, you know, I have Xbox games, but it's not really a collection. MB Drums asks, how many 24 inch diameter bass drums would you need to stack on top of each other to make it to the moon? 220! asks, Samus, where did the new pedals go? Because in your latest cover, you were using the A longboards. Love your content. Oh, you're. Thanks, buddy. I assume you're talking about the Devil Driver video, and that was filmed before I got the lasers. Rest assured, though, guys, the next batch of drum videos I film, it will be with the lasers. And it'll be great. Oh, no, asks, what hardware do you use? Love the video. Keep rocking. Oh, you're. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you're. All the hardware on my drum kit is Pearl. Pearl, Pearl, Pearl. I don't know, they just make the best shit. Germs asks, do you ever give the paper a sniff after a wipe? I can't say I've ever sniffed the paper. Usually just my finger after I scratch it. Felipe says, we're all living in America. That's a great song. The Dead Man Dylan asks, is there a possibility of a new solo album from you in the near future? Also sex. <laughs> that would be great. The problem is I just need to find the time to write an album. Usually whenever I write a song, it's just like a one-off for a video or something like that, you know, besides my EP. But I really do need to uh, figure out a concept for an album and work on it and, you know. Can't say when exactly, Mr. Dylan, but yeah, I would love to make a full album pretty soon. Mr. Uncle Joe one two three asks, since when do you have long hair? I assume that means how long have I had long hair and... I believe when I was about 14 years old, that's the last time I got like a short haircut. And after that, I was like, okay, I'm growing my hair out. And it definitely took uh, quite a few years to get uh, to this length. You know, I actually had an afro for a little bit, but it was worth looking like poop for a couple of years and Linda! War Machine says, sup bud, do you ever need breaks from music in general? Sometimes I do as I can overload on it. Great question, War Machine. Sometimes that does happen, not very often, just cause uh, you know, I love music very, very much. It is very close to the heart for me. But sometimes on a rare occasion, yeah, that does happen. And I'll just need to, need to take a day off and play video games all day and not even listen to music. Sometimes you need to take a break. George asks, have you ever been on drugs? <laughs> Grease Monkey asks, how fast can you drum roll? 222. Would you like to drive a tractor? Ogre! Tera Putra asks, why are you playing drum? Why are you not playing other instrument? Like mayonnaise, maybe. That's not a bad idea. What would mayonnaise even sound like? Probably sound like this. <coughs> Francis asks, what is your favorite Arnold movie? Oh, geez. I don't know if I can pick one. I love Terminator. I love Predator. Kindergarten cop. I'm the party pooper. How fat is too fat for a hookup? <laughs> Oh, you know. Okay, let's move over to Instagram. Brian Compton asks, is it true astronauts get all the tang they want? Depends on what kind of tang you mean. Do you mean tang the orange monkey drink or tang as in, well, you know. C. Wilcox 4 asks, did you ever have a routine when practicing as a kid? Great question. I don't think I really had a routine per se, but I spent a lot of time practicing along to my favorite songs. Way, way, way back in the day before there were CDs, I used to get blank cassette tapes and record the radio. Every time a cool song came on on the radio on the boombox, I would press record. It's actually how I discovered Iron Man by Black Sabbath, and I would just play that over and over again. It was great. HX Shreds asks, what do you think about Alexei Lacho? <laughs> Children of Chodum? or ex-Children of Chodum at this point. He's good. I was actually heavily influenced by Children of Bodom when I was growing up. I was absolutely fascinated with the writing of their songs, the solos, just everything. Bodom is still definitely one of my all-time favorites. But I have not checked out his new stuff. What is it called? Bodom After Midnight? Something like that? I have not checked that out yet, so... Actually, I'll, let's check it out right now. Oh, it sucks! I'm just kidding, I didn't check it out. <laughs> 
Nacho1624 wants to know, do I use French grip or Italian grip? He says, spicy meat the ball. Wasn't it funny a couple of days after I made that Martin reaction video and hey, this is Italian grip. Just a couple of days after that, someone made that drumstick meme. Hmm. Yeah. You're welcome, you little shit. Brandon Kilpatrick asks, what genres other than metal do you enjoy listening to? None, because they all suck. I only listen to metal. And no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I listen to everything. I just enjoy good music. You know what I mean? Jean P. Wonka asks, does smoking weed before playing help or hinder your ability to perform? Well, I guess that depends on who you ask, but most of the time, just play it safe, guys. How about this? Smoke responsibly and don't get stoned right before you got important things to do. Jake Drums123 asks, first song with blast beats I ever learned. I believe it was the opening track from the Damnation and a Day album by Cradle of Filth. <laughs> Sex? Bless. Mystic Joker wants to know, what is 22 about? <sighs> no. Okay, and last but not least, let's jump over to Facebook. Mike Winkler says, your kitten symbols always look super sparkly clean in your videos. Do you do something special to avoid dust buildup? <laughs> My wife's laughing right now upstairs. Would you like to come comment on that one? Yeah, she's fucking laughing. <laughs> or like caked in dust. Maybe if you zoom in. Oh. <laughs> well, Mike, uh, usually I'm pretty bad with dust, um, but since I got the new Minels, I've actually been, uh, you know, cleaning those weekly. And I've just been using a clean t-shirt to just wipe everything. I don't know, before that, uh, I, I would say my stuff looked a little bit dirty, and everything around the camera right now is dirty and dusty, but thanks. <laughs> Jesse Lochner asks, what the fuck crossed your mind when you thought playing with dildos would be awesome and hilarious? Because it was awesome and hilarious. <laughs> What crossed my mind? Well, you know, sex. Oh, hey, Paul. He says, why don't Apple Jacks taste like apples? Because <laughs> I didn't wake up and play turtles. Lexis and Josh are asking, did I do an audition for Pig Destroyer? I can't say that I ever remember doing an audition for Pig Destroyer. I don't even know what they sound like, to be honest. Are you looking to getting back in a recording studio with somebody anytime soon? Uh, well, I do a lot of session work, so technically I'm in the studio, like, all the time, you know, in my basement. But I haven't actually gone to a studio to record something in, uh, a couple years now. Yeah. Oh, look, we got a message from Cleland! Where do you buy your sausages? <laughs> I got them on Amazon, actually. He also asks, on a scale from 1 to 22, do you like pineapple on pizza? 1 being bad and 22 being you enjoy it. Where do you stand for your pie shoved in your pie hole? 22! <laughs> Alright, so I guess that's gonna do it for the questions today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching, and most of all, thank you for all the questions. If you're watching this on Friday, the day that I upload it, then I'll see you guys tonight on the live hangout stream, and then tomorrow morning for some live drumming hot sex! Take care now. Bye-bye then. I love you guys. Click!